But we're gonna do a supplementary fragment before ending Experience. today. Supplemental fragment. Being sarcastic. Oh no, not sarcasm. I freaking hate sarcasm. You know? Don't you hate when somebody's sarcastic? It's so freaking annoying. I cannot be sarcastic. I genuinely cannot be sarcastic. I've got a, a tone of voice that doesn't allow me to be really sarcastic. I can attempt at it, but it's so obvious. Hey Dante, I have a question for you. <laughs> What's the question? Go for it. Well, it's just, you're such a funny guy. Thanks, but that's not a question. All right. I mean, I've read all of your books. Your sense of humor doesn't slip in there at all. To be honest, that seems like normal thing. This friend group is just sarcasm personified, <laughs> kind of. Although I think they are all just incredibly sassy, you know, and in the best possible way. I freaking love their sassiness, their their inside jokes, their their dynamic is just perfect. It is awesome to see every single time. It is so wholesome. It is so bad. It is so annoying, and it is so good at the same time. So many things mixed together. And it perfectly encapsulates how it is. Like, this sort of groups always look weird for an outsider. And me, as myself, I am an, uh, an outsider. I would never understand this dynamic itself. I would think of them of being weird, of just, you know, bullying each other and such. I would think they are just rude. But in reality, they would just have a good own dynamic, the inside dynamic that goes fairly far but doesn't go too far that it's just outright something bad. But as Delta, as I'm seeing it as Delta, I think it's quite fine. Oh, you want to know why? Yeah, something like that. You're so it is a lovely freaking dynamic. I kind of thought you'd be a different person. More dark and mysterious? I don't think he would be yeah, that dark and mysterious. There's definitely a mismatch. I could say the same for you. All right. Huh? You're a completely different person when you're performing. Those dance moves, that personality, it's just so extravagant. Just too bad we cannot see Clay's performing, but from the sound of it, it is the case. Like, uh, it's basically polar opposite, right? Offstage Clay's versus onstage Clay's. Very different people. And that can happen a lot in online conversations. When you meet somebody online, they can be very nice person. They can be really open or closed or introverted or extroverted or whatever else. But when you meet them are in real life, there are only two options. They will be I incredible opposite of it, of what you met, or they will be exactly the same, like 100% copy paste. The cover the song cover shows that again. I will look into it right after stream. Again, thank you very much for helping me out on finding it, so to speak, Jupiter. I read really, really appreciate it. It's all part of the job. It sounds like it. Then I guess my answer might be the same. It's just what sells and what I'm good at. That's good. That's fair. But now I have another question. What is the question? What's up? How am I different in person? Like if you had to describe it. Uh, very, 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 um, different. You know, you hit different. But no, in reality, Clay's is just, you know, I don't know, I know, oh, different voice. I did hear one of Clay's interview things with uh, Jonah. So yeah, definitely different voice. <laughs> Even though it's literally, if I remember correctly, it's literally different people. But nonetheless, let's skip that little part, right? Other than that, uh, on stage sounds incredibly, right? Incredibly extroverted, incredibly fun having, just somebody ecstatic. And here we just have somebody who's shy, somebody who's clo more closed and just trying to get by, you know? A lot more quiet. Definitely reserved. I don't feel like you're moments away from belting out a solo, but actually, I think that's good. It's more like the real you. Oh, that is that is awesome of you to say, Dante. The real me, huh? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think we all have our work personalities. Even Isaac is a different guy on the clock. Yeah, that kind of checks out. In most cases. I myself try to be as same as possible. Different how? Well, I mastered my retail voice for one. It's super important when you work in sales. It is. It is incredibly important to have an incredible voice. Well, not incredible, but just appropriate voice to sell things. Another thing that is really important there, you gotta speak really fast. <laughs> people people get lost when you speak fast. Retail voice? Yeah, just speak a higher pitch with exaggerated enthusiasm. Yeah, Does that's that true. Work? It does. I have some of the highest numbers in the district, so you tell me. I'll take your word for it. He got the methods. There you have it. We all act different when we're working, but to answer why, I guess I use my writing as an outlet. With all the dark stuff out of the way, I'm just left In German commercials, it's always like 15 German words in second. Oh my god, that sounds. I would not be able to fathom it. I bet you could write a good comedy, though. Yeah, but then things would switch around. A funny book would mean a dull Dante. Oh? Well, what about Dante's comedy? You know, the, 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 the heavenly comedy. <laughs> Mostly the medical stuff. Ah, yeah, the medical stuff is understandable. Same goes for my language. Whenever it's the end of the commercial, they just go... <laughs> oh my god, I cannot do the fast thingy. Still, they basically explain how the recipe, the recipe, the recipe, the, re the receipt explains how to use it, and you should be careful, and yada yada. As if you're not dull enough already. Ooh, burn. And there's Taylor, like clockwork. I can never pass when there's such a clear shot. True. Wait, how is Taylor different when he works? Huh? Good question. Is yeah, he the same? I actually don't know. And here I thought it was a universal rule. It is not a universal rule. It never was a universal rule. Streaming is totally different, though. Your personality is the thing that sells you. You can't afford to cover that up or make a fake one. Exactly. Because when you have to meet people all of a sudden in real life, it's like, who the hell is this person? Why are, why are they so shy? Not entirely true. Some people stream in character. That is actually true, too. He's already enough of a character. Well, that's good. He developed something of himself. No offense to that, but it's true. I have to tell them that I'm the same in real life. Good. If I didn't know you, I'd find that one hard to believe. <laughs> oh, Taylor. I'm actually a little nervous. I hope I don't kill the energy when I'm guesting. Knowing how wild you can get, I'm kind of intimidated. Oh, poor Clays. It might be a good time to tap your stage personality then. Your fans will all be watching, remember? They expect to see you. I will or, be watching at too. At the very least, the you they perceive you to be. I guess so. But I kind of like being the real me. I haven't had much practice, but I'm enjoying this vacation. Good. Enjoy it as it lasts. Well, it's just for one night, Clace. As soon as it's over, you can go back to normal. You don't have to act around us. We like you for who you are. That is another of the wholesome moments. I'm glad for this. Totally. Absolutely. Thanks. I'm glad I got to meet Isaac and everyone else, too. I definitely made this hiatus worth fighting for. Never underestimate the power of friendship. Dante and Isaac have helped me out more times than I can count. And when you need it, we'll be there to help you, too. That is one of the most wholesome freaking moments in the game so far. You will? Oh, I will definitely try my best to help you, Clays. Yeah, whenever you need it. Mm-hmm. Hundred freaking percent. <sighs> Before you end, can we quickly check what the next pivotal is called? Sure. This one, right? Oh, Experience pivotal fragment. Crossing the threshold. Okay. Interesting name. Cro 